and you're listening to Gabs. <laughs> Represent Radio, we are back and I have my lovely guests in the studio. They go by the names of Edith and Denise. We say ladies. We say So, um, you know, I had to get you guys on the show uh, because you both, you're both very popular in your own different ways. You know, people definitely look up to you in terms of beauty, um, in terms of lifestyle and a lot of things that you do. So I kind of wanted to get you guys on to talk about this topic that we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks. It's all about beauty, image, lifestyle. And I thought you was two great guests to have on. Um, so, yeah. So first and foremost, for the people that are just listening um, or hearing about you for the first time, can you each tell them what you do um, and what you're about? Oh, okay, my name's Edith Williams. Um, I'm a makeup artist, and on top of that, um, I've got um, my own brand, which is called Beauty and Beyond. And what that does is offer hair and makeup services, and also we sell our own branded cosmetics. Okay, and Denise. Hey. Come, come. Why is Denise so shy? Like she's always she's shying away from the mic. Oh, I'm gonna turn up your voice. mic if you keep if you keep walking away. You I know. actually <laughs> hate the sound of my voice, but yeah, my name's Denise Dainty. Um, I'll actually just like to refer to myself as a model because I think that's what I'm mainly known as. <laughs> mainly known as, that's what you ask. That you're, listen, if you go on this girl's Insta, you come and see, you come, you'll see a real picture for them. She's Trust acting me. like, ah, oh, you know. <laughs> She's doing shy. Model. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't understand why, but anyway, so um, so for both of you, what, ki- what was it that kind of made you want to do, like follow the different paths that you're doing? So Denise, as a model, what kind of made you say, you know what? I'm buff. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take pictures for a living. And, you know, Edith, what made you say, you know what? I can pull off a good face beat. This is what I'm <laughs> going to do. Well, um, I never woke up in the morning and said, yeah, I want to be a model. It kind of just happened. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, when you're always getting approached, like, oh, you should do modeling. From young, I've been getting told, like, you should try it out. You should try it out. So, like, I think it just got to a point where I was hearing it so much. And I just thought, you know what? Let me just give it a shot. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of just gone on from there. Okay. And Edie, for yourself? Well, anyone that knows me knows I'm the biggest tomboy ever. So makeup wasn't even... I never even thought I would even be someone who would wear makeup. But um, I remember I was working in House of Fraser and uh, like in Kurt Geiger. And I just... Do you know what? I actually just went to the makeup counter because they were hiring... Um, they were um, paying more. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. ever since then, when I started working there, I actually realised that I was actually good. And then, you know, told couple people that you know I do makeup outside of work even though I was lying <laughs> and then when I saw they were actually giving me money I was thinking yo this might have to be the real hustle you know <laughs> so ever since then you know it's just been my passion ever since I hear that I hear that so um obviously like I said we're going to be talking a bit more about beauty and lifestyle I'm not gonna I'm just gonna crack on because time is against us but um you know right now there's been a lot of talks about image gang and um, <laughs> listen, it's becoming serious. Trust me. Like it's becoming real serious <laughs> to the point where people. I don't. Know, I don't know if you've seen articles like even Bow Wow. Yeah, just, uh, let's just say Bow Wow. Like the Bow wow that challenge is too funny. Oh, <laughs> people are going in with the challenges, you know. Killed it. And, and and you know what's crazy is that the more I was I was on Twitter and I was just I was just searching the hashtag and I was just looking at the different the <laughs> lies people tell and the way you find them out through reflections and just little th- silly things mm. like that. And it's funny on the surface, but mm. when you look deeper deeper into it, it's really sad that people it are is. actually doing these things. So as you know, people that are quite popular in on, on social media, like what do you think about those things? And have you ever done that yourself? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not me. I just yeah, think no. but like live beyond your means. Do you get what I mean? Like, there's no point trying to stunt if you don't have it like that, because I think it's harder to keep up the image. Definitely. Rather than just sticking true to yourself. Mm. Like, it don't make no sense, me personally. Definitely. Do you feel like um, photoshopping and stuff like that is part of image? You know, we spoke about yes. this last week. We spoke about, like, editing your photos. And uh, one of the other girls, she made a good point And she said that even if she took a picture of the sky, yeah. she would add a little filter just Imagine. to make it seem it's a little true, though, bit more. Snapchat, you do that. So but it's I... not always... It's, it, it depends on the intention yeah, of what yeah, you're yeah. trying to showcase through this this filter. When you, when you say Photoshop, I think more say like filter is different in it like mm. i think 
with filter, it's just you know to enhance. Sometimes the day might be looking dull, you know, mm -hmm. outside might be looking dull, so you want to just jazz it up a little bit. But when you're photoshopping to make you know assets seem a bit bigger than they really are, I think that's when it's just like why? Because people still see you in real life and they know what you have. Mm -hmm. Like people could do angles and and still bust with angles. So I don't understand why Definitely. people just don't do that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Denise, you sounded like you disagreed with the Photoshop thing. Why, why was that? I don't know, because I just feel like there's so many girls out here who use Photoshop, mm -hmm. like to make their bum look bigger, mm. waist look smaller. And to be fair, I didn't even used to notice it till my friends were like, you got to look at the background. Yeah, you see, like, the it, look, it blurs a little bit, <laughs> yeah, trust me. Or whatever, yeah. but boy, you, boy, they're doing what they're doing, innit? I don't do no Photoshop. I was actually saying that loads of girls were just turning into graphic designers. There's some, I'm skills, dead. some skills that they didn't even know they had Trust before. Me. They are just did. They should apply for IT jobs Trust soon. Then. Listen, it's, it's, it's real. It's so, it's so real out here. Um, so like in terms of, you know, your followings on social media, I, I don't, I, I have you both on Snap, but obviously I don't know how much people you have on Snap. It's not something that you can see. Like, but how has kind of having people watching you and having a lot of attention and being popular like affected the way you kind of present yourself the way you kind of live your life does it put more pressure on you does it you know and how do you kind of handle them those those things um with me i kind of just keep it so real if you follow me on snapchat you know you're getting the real denise like mm -hmm. i'm so i'm more vocal i like express my personality a bit more but when you got so much people watching you you do have to be a bit more private mm -hmm. with like your love life your family and stuff like that so that's how i am like you could not really tell much about my love life on my social media or my family i tend to just keep that keep that away from that uh for me i'm like the opposite um i show everything on my snapchat because from i don't i don't think it's that deep snapchat is not that deep for me i just feel like i live my life normally like I said, I live beyond my means. So if I'm enjoying life and people think that, oh, you know, it looks lit, blah, blah, blah. But that's, that's to them. Do you get what I'm saying? But for me, it's just like a normal lifestyle. It's not like I'm trying to put it on. But I do feel like the more people start watching you, the more you do feel like, oh, you know what? I need to give them a little something. I need to show them a little. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes me and my friends were just like, oh, like we haven't snapped today. Like, what, what should we do? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think it, it's just nice for people to feel like they're a little bit closer to you, especially when they don't know you. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going to say, what do you think about the people that um, do the most for like, snapchat or they will they over they overact because they have a following like do you what what do you think that they have become accustomed to being animated because of the people shout out bob risky oh. <laughs> <laughs> i just started following him like, shout out to no, him no, boy no, actually i followed him on i never followed him on snap because i've seen a few things and my friends things and i think no that's too much but i used to have him on insta i think you did his makeup yeah, one yeah time. i did really, really. i did i did How was that? Do you know what? Like, it was fine because he's actually... That's why I said shout out to Bob Risky because I feel like, um, you know, he has to put it on because he knows there's a following. He knows that he has to entertain his crowd, which, you know, I'm not going to knock you for that. If that's your hustle, that's your hustle. But when you meet him in real life, that's not what he's about. He's actually quite calm. He doesn't really speak too much. Oh, really? Yeah, he's actually quiet. So I feel like, you know, there is pressure on people who are out there and who are, like, you know, giving something to the public. Yeah, that's, that's kind of mad. That is actually mad. <laughs> All right, cool. We're going to get into a track right now. And on the back of that, we're going to be talking about cosmetics and the real cosmetics that's been going down in 2017. But um, next up, we've got oh, some jewels <laughs> featuring Malik Berry and Nonzo Amadi. This is early. Represent. <laughs> Nonzo and Maddie, I almost forgot his name there. <laughs> and that one there was early. If you haven't yet heard Leap of Faith EP, make sure you go and check it out. Um, it's actually really big. So many good tracks on there. Really love it, man. Make sure you go and support that. So, we got the ladies in the building. If you just joined us here on Represent Radio. Hey. We've got Denise, Hi. we've got Edith, hey, and we've hey, been hey. talking about beauty, lifestyle, social media. And right now I'm going to get into something that's really prominent. Um, a lot of people don't want to talk about this, but I thought... Yeah, let's talk about it because people people want to act like it's not happening when it's really happening. So um, I have seen some crazy stuff on the internet. You know, last week I was talking about um, Kim Kardashian when she kind of posted that picture 
and she just really showed herself all her flaws. We saw the real cellulite and so many people were shocked because she wasn't never... happy about that picture being out there. Do you know she lost 100k followers for that picture? She no. Happy about it. Yeah, she did. 100k, 100,000. So she... people are that shallow? That's what I thought. But at the same time, if you've been, that's what she's been feeding the masses with this image of perfection. Yeah. So you can't be surprised if it, people are thinking raw, like, so yeah, yeah, when, when that came out, I was happy. I was thinking, not happy, but I was thinking, at least people can see that she actually looks like a normal woman. Yeah. Like, everyone, but not everyone has said it like, but like, I've been modeling for years and you'd see the slimmest girl and she, when we're all naked, she has cellulite. Cellulite, so like, 100. Like, yeah. Sometimes girls need to see that mm -hmm. perfect people do have cellulite as well. Yeah. But I think it was just mad because we've, we know like Kim Kardashian, she's been under the knife plenty of times. So it's kind of, it was a bit mad to say, oh, right, that she like, still has that. That she still yeah, has yeah, that, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I guess she's had two kids, so w w what do you expect? Yeah. And then we was also talking about another member of her family, Kylie, with the, the newfound hips that we've, that, that <laughs> she's looking like, kind of fruit twist bottle, like. I'm dead. And she, she you, I don't understand you, you go for Capri Sun to find a fruit twist. Yeah, yeah, she really did. So like right now it's happening a lot. We've seen it with like let's say Esther from Backchat. Yeah. Um a lot of people are doing it. I know people that have done I don't I won't necessarily call doing your teeth cosmetic surgery, but it kind of falls into the category of everyone trying to aim for that image of perfection. Yeah. Yeah. So why do you think that it's it is really popular right now? Um with like whole cosmetics and surgery and just even little things like little procedures like Botox and stuff like that. I just think um social media has a big influence on all those things um everybody wants to look their best do you get what i mean everyone wants to enhance even the fact that you wear makeup is you saying that i don't i, I like to look good when i go out do you mm. get what i'm saying so if some people feel insecure about certain parts of their bodies i can understand if if it's there for them i could understand if they want to get it done mm. do you get what i mean i would never look at someone who's done surgery and be like oh no there was no need like at the end of the day, you don't know how that mu must affect their um, mm. self-esteem. Yeah. But at the same time, there is this, you know, consensus to be, you know, beautiful and be on point. And, you know, so I think like everybody just wants to feel that within themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, basically, I don't know. I feel like if you want to make changes to your body, by all means, if you've got the money, make the changes. Um, recently, obviously, I've put on a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Every day I get a message, have you had your bum done? Mm. Like, it's so... <laughs> nah, the is bad, you know. I'll say this to you the other day. It's, it's actually mad. mad. annoying. Like, I'm Ugandan. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, we all have hips, we all have bums. Mm. Obviously, I lost a bit of weight, like, two years ago. Um, yeah, so I haven't had my bum done. Mm -hmm. I have had my breast done. Mm -hmm. And that was way before the gram, way before anyone mm. was even doing their breast. I had my breast done, like, six years ago. Yeah. And I didn't do them to know 32F. I done them to a comfortable size for my mm. frame. Yeah. So like, if you see me, you probably everyone's probably shocked listening to this now because not everyone can tell. No. Yeah. But yeah, and I done it for myself. I didn't do it for the gram. I didn't do it for a man. I done yeah. it for myself. And what about um, yourself, Edith? Do you know anyone, or have you done anything? Yeah, yourself? like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I won't comment on that one. Like I know a couple of people, but it, it's, it, is what it, is, <laughs> it is what it is. If you know, you know, you know them ones. But at the same time, like like I said, I don't knock it. Like, if people want to do it, they can do it. But I just feel like because everybody is doing, mm. it, no one should ha have to lie about it. But at the same time, I understand if you do, because people might be private. You know how you said yeah, you don't yeah. put your family out there and blah, blah, blah to mm. the world. So some people are like, if I don't know you, why do you need to know? No, because. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there are some people in this world that will run back and, you know, twist right. up that story. And do you get what I'm saying? Make, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I can understand that people are sceptical of what others will think or what others will go and do with that information, mm -hmm. which is fair. So. Yeah, I hear you. So, um, I was and just... it's cheap. They're all running off to Turkey. Yeah, I was just, just going to say, like, I, one of, someone that I know recently... I she did mine in Harley Street, boo. Like, I oh. didn't go to no Turkey. Okay, I hear that. I um, that and, out, yeah. like, one of my friends, she done some, she got some work done recently as well, and I thought, I, I was like, you didn't even tell no one. Like, I, I didn't even notice until she really pulled down the pata for me to see. I'm dead, like, you said oh, pata. Okay, like, she's mad, but what... what for me, it's just like, I don't, I don't knock it at all. If that makes you feel good, if that's what you mm. want to do. I was even saying, like my mum was even saying to me, my mum's like 50 odd, and she was saying that, like she's had four kids. She's at that age where her breast is, these mum's got good breasts. 
Auntie's are getting right. it done. Yeah. No, nah, I'm saying she wouldn't not. mind, like, for her, if she, for her 60th birthday, yeah. she wouldn't mind doing them. Auntie's are getting it. The same way auntie's are, when I go to African parties, I see auntie's with eyebrows and I know who did that for you. Yeah. Straight away, <laughs> I'm just like, what's going on here? Like, even auntie's, they're jumping on the wave too. So, you know, by all means, like I said, everybody wants to look good. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. If you've got the money, like Denise said, Whatever then go for it. Happy. Yeah, and you know, we were just talking about um, how not everybody wants to tell people, but I think that there should be an importance on like, if you have done that, like you should allow people, some people should kind of share their journey because yeah. there's been a lot of instances of people d- going to the wrong places, people dying, yeah. people, you know, getting their leg amputated or just like people putting cement in your in your skin. Like it's, it's not yeah. right. So I feel like there's almost, especially if you have that kind of following and like these yeah. YouTubers, I think there's almost a need for you to kind of share it. Not Maybe not in, in depth, Definitely. but at least let people yeah. know because if I aspire to be like Denise or to be like Edith and mm. you, you've done something mm. and I've gone to like, Uncle Bola again. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's doing it in, you know, in Belgium. Yeah. And then he ends up putting the wrong thing in me, then that's, it could just lead to a disaster. You know what? I think, like you said, if, if people have a following, it's good to put out their story. But at the same time, it depends what, you know, route you're going under. It depends what industry you're in and mm-hmm. what you're trying to um, promote. Like, what, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, in terms yeah. of what you're trying to show as yourself. So sometimes it might be a thing where they don't want that side to come out and mix with their business because maybe it might affect their business. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, not everybody... But at the same time, I do feel like if you have a, a follow um, following base, if people ask you, then you should definitely help them in some way to let them know, okay, like, even well, even if you don't want to say it or you, you give them advice and say, I do know of this person and that person or you can um, share other p- people's um, journeys with them, I do think that you should try and at least help. Because with me, I have people asking me left, right and centre and I do try to help as much as possible. So what do you what do you think? Um, I know this is not off the top off topic of like cosmetic surgery. What do you think about the thirteen year olds that are doing eyebrows and makeup? Ridiculous. Face, makeup, I think it's school? that all Ridiculous. We were talking about last week. We were saying that when you was in school, um, like you, no you throw makeup. back. You, mean, you know you're gonna do a throwback. My you know, child makeup, cannot no come to me and tell me that she if I had eyebrows. She can't even finish that sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but it's pressure because you go to school. Like if you look at like year nines, tens, and year yeah. ten, the pressure. I see them. Like, yeah. Even, they've got weave. They've got full face. Like mm-hmm. I'm even thinking, how did you guys afford it? Like yeah, I don't understand. Like... It comes down to for me personally, it comes down to the parenting because my child or like f- from my upbringing, there was no. My mom didn't even let me do nails. Talk less of anything it's else. Beyond parenting now, because look you at think the so? internet. Yeah, it's the internet. It's just so the you... social media. The pressure of the girls. They're gonna feel uncomfortable. And, and we didn't have that access. Like when we yeah. had our thirty two tens or sixty two thirty. Yeah, yeah. Phone, true, we didn't have true. All of that. So now it's like they're they're looking up to. There's girls that will even beat their face on the bus on the way to school, wipe it off on the way home. Mm. Like your mum's not gonna know what you're doing. But I mean that one, you know, you can't really say anything about it. If your child is not showing you, then I mean, by all means, you can't really say anything about it. But at the same time, my child is not going to wear weave. <laughs> She's going to do braids for as long as <laughs> as possible. <laughs> um, so how do you think we can kind of control or is or can we control people kind of getting too excited or going overboard with the makeup, with the image stuff? Like, how do we, how do, do what, you... young people? Yeah, young people. How do you as influencers in like within your own Instagram think that we can kind of just let people know to be comfortable in their own skin and just... You know, you can do you, you can, you know, exaggerate your beauty, but you still should be confident and you don't, you can walk out your house without makeup. You can be regular if you want to. How yeah. do you think you can push that message? I think maybe like, okay, say for for instance, on my Snapchat, um, I know I do have a lot of like young girls who look up to me and my business partner. So maybe like when we snap without makeup and stuff like that, yeah. um, you know, it can help. But I think going forward from this conversation, maybe when I do snap, I might m- write a little message because sometimes you don't deep, even even though you know, like you're an influence to other people, sometimes you're just do it, living your life. Like sometimes mm-hmm. snap is just you doing your own thing mm-hmm. or like you don't really feel, think about, like putting out a message sometimes but i think we do have to use our power to basically let people know that you know it's that's not everything like just be young like enjoy your youth and and denise i was gonna say as like for a darker skin girl i i think your skin color is banging yeah and there's a lot of like dark skin girls that they want to be wearing foundation that's lighter than them yeah. and stuff like that and you as a dark skin girl and as gorgeous as you are what would you say what do you say to the girls that are like similar shade as you like growing up because i don't know how easy or how difficult it, it, it is 
But I feel um, like a lot of people need to know. No, like, no, it's definitely harder for dark skinned girls. Um, even black boys are cussing dark skinned girls. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> They're making us feel some type yeah. of way. So like yeah. a lot of dark skinned girls, you do kind of feel like you're not as pretty as a light skinned girl, whatever. But I feel like everyone should just kind of be comfortable in their own skin and just try and own it and just accept who you are and just work with it and just, I don't know, I can only speak for myself to be fair because yeah. that's how I like, I have a lot of friends who are lighter than me, but that mm. doesn't affect me because everyone is their own, like I'm my own. But I just feel like, yeah, everyone shouldn't feel like they have to look a certain way or look like people on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not that deep, like, it's seriously not that deep. And most people on Instagram that everyone looks up to, in the week, these people don't have makeup. Yeah, they, got, they have exactly. normal jobs, some of, the, some of us have normal yeah. jobs. Yeah. You're not wearing makeup, you're dressed not like mm. a tramp, but you're really dressed down. It's only like weekends, you look nice. And then you put up that one picture and everyone thinks you look nice all yeah. the time. Yeah. Mm. And it's just not that, like, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah. Yeah, you see? There you have it. So, um, Denise, so if anybody is listening and they're, they're, they're pre your Instagram right now and they're like, yo, I need to book this girl. Like, where can they find your information, your social media? Please let the, let the people them know. Um, Instagram, Denise Dainty. It's quite easy to find. As soon as you put Denise in the D, I'll pop up first. Oh, what, like that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I swear. And I'm not really going to give out my Snapchat because I'm trying to tone it down. And moment. Edith, for those of us that have proms, engagement, <laughs> a lot of things are popping up this summer. <laughs> the fresh face beat, where can they find you? All that good stuff. They can find me on my Instagram, Edith Williams. That's not with an F, by the way. Um, that's with a T H. Nah, no, because even... too many people I know <laughs> like to slap on that F. <laughs> what? <laughs> Simple English. Simple English, and that's uh, Williams with an S at the end as well. Yeah. Not William, like. <laughs> um, Snapchat E D, which is E D I E underscore baby. Uh, cool. Um, so, like, is there anything that you guys kind of want to plug before you go? Anything coming up that you kind of want to let the people know about? Yes, come to Empire at the end of the month, last Friday of the month. Actually, no, wait, wait, before you go, I've been seeing, I don't know, I've been watching your snaps, you know, this lady coming, you think that you're yeah, Yeah, come like, on, I need, I every day we live. Hey, listen, it's mad, it's actually, it's actually mad. Oh my gosh, we're going to get into the next one right now. Um, this is a big tune, um, this is, this one is Ray and Sonna with For Me, let's go. Yeah. Oh, DJ Sean, that one is for me. Make sure you go and check out the video um, now on YouTube. Big tune. Um, so we got the ladies, and I said before they go, they need to give um, the shout outs. I know some people have been messaging them to, to get their, 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 their <laughs> 20 seconds of fame. Just, just, just go ahead. Who's going for Oh, uh, whoever. Okay. Um, Shout out to Carl, shout out to Prissy Gang, shout out to all my East girls, you know who you are, my bitch Lucy, <laughs> Vanessa, and yeah, and always fresh. Oh, oh and um, e um, Denise. <laughs> um, shout out Miriam, shout out Steph, shout out Miss Banks, that's just family there, I just shouted them out. Um, shout out my friends Isabel and Katya and Jock. Um, yeah, that's about yeah, everyone it. Locked Shout in, everyone man. locked in, man. Also, yeah, I was just saying, Edith, see Edith, yeah, I got her a snap. You, said, I was like, you need to invite me to one of these. Shows. I don't know, my birthday's already gone, but that that thing you do on the, on, was it a Friday or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, the party looks tired. Last Friday, trust me, come on, man. I, 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 I'm not, you know, I don't I'm call myself Lee the... Committee for no reason. Yeah, you know, like... like that, yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah. Like, it's, it's mad. Like, her snap is mad. Like, I was just like, rah, like. <laughs> Where, where, do, where do I apply? How can okay, you say where do I apply? I'm gonna join. I'm joining. I'm joining. I don't. You know me. I don't have the. I don't have the heart for that life. You know? I've seen I'm you, Gabby. Like, I've seen you. No, yeah, no, you do. I've seen you giving it. Small, small. I, I see you at the Kendo party. It's okay. It's okay. All right, cool. So I'm gonna get into a few more songs before I have to exit because you know I'm blowing out to Wembley. Going to go and see my my babes Tiwa. That's just I'm Panna. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> before I leave the studio, I'm gonna throw in a couple of tracks. So um, I didn't get to do New Age Africa this week. So I'm gonna throw in one from there. This is a big one. This is by the Beat Freaks, and it features Sona. Uh, we got Sneak Bow in this one as well. Afro B and Mo Logo. This one is called Quavo. Big tune. The final will be a deadly day. It's gonna be either with both of us gonna die on the line. Cause I'm ready to run into the light because I have a black man blood in me. And African people, we are born great. DBF, 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 DBF. 
Lager. 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 Lager.